if that maybe makes you feel more conceptually better. Um, one way that you could approach the trucking instant memo project from a style standpoint, to practice this simple style, is to do this. Do your do no feel brainstorm. Then, as I lay it out for here in the advice, make an outline. Take all the info that you brainstormed, organize it into an outline, throw it in. Don't worry about complete sentences, just throw in the facts. Then, when you get to this Fourth step, when you're writing the draft, this step can be very easy if you already have a detailed outline with all the facts and info slotted in. Writing the report is simply a matter of turning all your info into complete sentences. That's it. So here's the thing. Make your sentences at that point very short, very short. Make them grammatic, because you're not like writing an essay from, you're just saying, okay, here's a fact, I shall make that a sentence. Here's another fact, I shall make that a sentence. Here's another fact, I shall make that a sentence. Just deal with each fact and make it into a sentence. You're not, don't think that I'm writing a whole paragraph or even a whole section or a whole section or God, just every little fact, just make it a sentence. Then read through it. When you're doing the fifth editing step, when you're editing for style, If you read a series of statements and they seem just abusively too short, like, oh my god, I can't, I can't even imagine that anyone would want to read that. Because it's so, first of all, think about, well, maybe that's a feature. But if there's like three sentences where you're like, oh, it's just way too short. Well, okay, then at that point, combine them. At that point. Or maybe get rid of one. Like, actually, now that I look at it in context, that middle sentence is filler. I'll just give it, you know. It's generally a lot easier for folks to take very simple sentences and then make a conscious choice to combine them to make them more complex. People generally do that a lot more clearly and successfully than if they write their draft right from the get-go with a bunch of complex sentences and then later think about breaking them down. It's, usually harder to simplify a sentence than it is to combine sentences. Especially if you follow the uh, additional grammar rules and techniques and tricks that I'll cover in the next weeks of like how do you successfully combine stuff using commas, conjunctions, things like that. But also, if you get to this edit for style step and you decide, you know what, I'm actually going to skip that step. I'm just going to go straight to uh, editing for grammar because Dr. Fricky mentioned repeatedly in class that he would actually be super enthused about a report that only had simple sentences. So I'll just leave it at that. Just take that hinky feeling, set it aside. Just like, I'm not even going to work. And then see what kind of feeling you have when like, you get an A plus for something that has only fifth grade grammar. Wow, that'd be trippy. And might make you more likely to, uh, to feel OK about deploying that style in the future when it could be really useful. So, so hopefully that's helpful. Try to, uh, try to start with the <coughs> folks of fourth grade subject action object rules. A little bit of practice. And I tried to bring it back to, okay, here's how it connects to real workplace writing and also the project that you're working on. Hopefully that was a successful journey. Um, so now you've got uh, some definitions you can use for the first page of the grammar worksheet.